One, two. So what are we seeing? We're seeing one, two, three, four police cars and four police. This is a sudden interest of. Look at the sign. The sign says two hour parking. Two hour parking. Monday through Friday. It's, it's 5 30, so no one should be getting tickets. No. We just got What time is it now? Can I can I take a video of your watch, please? Yeah, so you may. Oh, 12 inches from the curb. Let's find out. Andy, you should get on the horn and call. You should call News 10. You really should. It's ridiculous. It is. You should get on the horn with somebody. Yeah, I guess it's about a half inch over, 12 yeah. inches. It's a clear retaliation, guys. Here for two years. I've never had clear retaliation. It's clearly a retaliation. Don. You got that rolling, right? Yeah. Hold this one. Yeah, you're right. It's about one. Don, I told Andy he should call News 10. Don, how many cars? How many cruisers? Is he laughing? Is this officer laughing? We got one, two, three, three cruisers. What you're witnessing is uh, Rochester police officers taking out a clear retaliation to the case of Emily Good. Ironically, the timing couldn't be any more interesting while we're having a meeting for Emily Good. Basically, four cruisers have pulled up to the scene um, of the squirrel and have basically pulled out rulers and have ticketed several vehicles. And this is how the Rochester police gets down. This is how they do it, especially after a video has gone viral all over the world and even Russian TV has commented on it. Um, within 24 to 48 hours, this is the uh, Rochester Police Department and the way that they retaliate. And you see it right here. There's all kind of crime going on in the city right now, but they find it more appropriate to have four cruisers to ticket approximately three to four vehicles. Four, four, interestingly enough, being less than, being uh, uh, 13 inches from the curb, 
instead of 12 inches. Did someone bring a tape measure to measure that they're right? Yeah, it's approximately about a half, about 12 and a half inches from the curb. <laughs> You're rolling yours, right? And we're not going to stand down, and we're not going to stop our meeting, and we're just going to have to bring our rulers when we go parking next time. Was it 12 and a half? Did I read that? Yeah, it was 12 and a half, maybe 13 inches. A so with all of the times. crime going on in the city of Rochester, we have as we four speak, officers we have four here officers in front of the Flying Squirrel ta Community Center, taxpayer money, really to intimidate to us, to ticket about four vehicles, to harass us, to let us know they know what's going on here, exactly. that we're supporting Emily Good in this case, and we're speaking out about Rochester police misconduct and abuse and unlawful arrest, and they don't like it, and this is what happens. And other things have happened too. We won't even. That's off the record. But it's been a long day of an intimidation by the police. Let's leave it at that. And they know what we're talking about. So we have, again, to recap, one, two, three, four cruisers. And they came a half an hour into the, you know, right when the meeting was going on. Here, Emily Good. meeting about police misconduct and as the meeting is just beginning all these officers yes, show up right. with rulers the ticket cars are 12 and 15 minutes everybody that's attending the meeting has now gotten a ticket we're going to They didn't get mine a ticket? to ride the curb and not know how to drive your car. <laughs> I ride that baby. Did anyone respond at all to the questions? People were asking the cops questions. Yeah. What they said, we had a lot of Yeah, just so you know, everything seems like it's okay right now. In the middle of the meeting, and, and there's five or six cameras rolling, the Rochester Police Department rolled up four or five cruisers and started giving tickets to all the cars that are at the meeting because they're less, they're a little bit more than 12 inches from the curb. Fíjate que pedí el Police Department aquí en Rochete. So we're calling the news and everybody. They ticketed my car and everybody else's car because my car is 12 and a half inches from the curb instead of 12 inches. They came out, they came, Right. Right, I know. All right. They wouldn't comment. So we should continue our meeting. Yeah, let's continue the meeting. Should we uh
That's what they really want to do. Did anyone contact any, any, any media? They want to disrupt us from having uh, uh, intelligent, thoughtful conversation about this. And get I'm sorry, who did, you, who did you contact? I'm sorry, ma'am. Okay. I'm about to do the whole list. Thank you. Yep. If you need, uh, obviously, 232-1010 is, uh, is an easy one because it's 1010, uh, but it's uh, News 10 NBC and Brett Davidson. You can ask directly for him. Which one is that? 232 oh. 1010. All right. Why don't well, we Brett go did a story in? already, so he yeah, might. Okay. Good point. 232 1010 is News 10 okay. NBC. Okay. And that is. I should ask for Brett. I got Brett Davis. Brett Davis, and if, if, he, if, he, if he can't okay, I'll explain the situation, yeah. Okay. You're yeah, doing you great. Thank you, baby. Yes, hi. Um, <laughs> Yeah, yeah, one person out with the camera, but David, with all your experience, I think you should stay in. And, and another thing, you're trying to disrupt this meeting. Exactly. And, and we don't, we can't. Okay, this is, this is in the middle of the, of the meeting, and right across the street, you see a police cruiser. As we're looking out the side door, help me with the street there, that's, a, that's, that's Troop, Troop Street. Troop Street. And there's a cruiser right there, as you see on the camera right they're now. They're making their presence known through the open door that they're there. Who knows what kind of surveillance that they can have, because there's a lot of audio devices that can pick up inside. Exactly, yeah, true, 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 So true. they might want to participate in this meeting. So let's get the meeting going. Yeah. Uh, right. And continue, like, we'll just, yeah. how are we feeling right now? <laughs> and, uh, it's so stupid. I, it's hard to understand why they didn't do it. I want them all fired. This too. I want them all fired. People like the door open or closed or I kind of love that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is everyone okay with you? Yeah, I don't probably. Yeah, I think it's gonna stay Yeah. Yeah. We all we all know the deal now. <laughs> yeah. 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 We all know the deal now. Uh, okay, so up things All right, yes, and then Dave. Yeah, I mean I, for me just like the police intimidation just shows how much of an impact this is having.